We are live. Ready? We are yep. live. We're ready. We are live. Uh, uh. <laughs> we have to bring this one back. Welcome. Yeah, that's a goodie. Alright. I don't have the mics on yet. Just want to send some invites out. Alright. Oh, wait. Brett, I think I just took pictures. How are you going to wear it? Brett, Brett. Oh, man. What up? What up? What up? Yeah. Welcome. To the MOR VOH basketball experience. Oh, yeah. Episode yeah. one radio show. It was birthed on the podcast. See my guy right there? Yeah. See my guy Z. What up, what up, what up? You know what I mean? Those are the owners of Radio Generation 2000. It's about to go down. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Tune in 87.9. Hold up, let me get my guy Brett in here, man. You gotta get bread in here. Forget me. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. Hey, I love you. P in the building. Uh, you can turn my my headphones off. Turn, turn them. Turn them off or you want your mic on? Testing, 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 testing. Yeah. Testing, testing, testing. All right. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Song is fire, yeah. Hey, who's this? Uh, come on, that's EJ, baby. Yo, we gotta bring that back. That let you know. Yo, shout out to EJ, VOH Play Hits Playlist. You already, you already know. Spotify, Apple Music. You already know. Yeah, please Get be that. sure to tune into that, man. Welcome. Welcome to episode one. Woo! Wow. <laughs> MOR yeah. VOH yeah. Basketball Experience, the radio show. Ooh. Episode one. I am your humble, gracious, and grateful host, Brother DSP. Your friendly neighborhood media personality. Oh man, I'm super excited. I got my guys here with me. I got Brett Bronson. You know. Commissioner of VOH basketball. Something like that. You know. I got my other guy, fashion mogul. <laughs> I don't know how many times I spoke to him already <laughs> on the, the podcast, but my guy Z Blaine, what's going on, brother? You already, I'm good, bro. How you feel? I feel good, man. Same here, bro. It's about to go down now, brothers. Like so fast. We got our own radio show now. <laughs> what? Crazy. Visual radio show? Yeah, it's it's about to go down, man. Like it, it's about to get crazy. Big shout out to um Insatiable Productions. Word. Um they couldn't make it today, you know, for personal reasons. I'm just gonna send positivity and prayers to them. Hopefully everything Word. goes according to plan. Shout Absolutely. out to my guy Dylan. Yeah, shout out to uh Shout out to Angel. Yeah. Shout out to Aiden. And Aiden, you still can't guard me. <laughs> Just to let you know. On the radio, <laughs> on the radio show. So wonder, <laughs> Aiden. So this for life. You still can't guard me, Aiden. You heard? <laughs> oh, yes. See, this is the type of content we're going to bring, man. This, it's, it's, it's all love. This is Especially, it's going to be G-rated. It's nothing like the podcast. As a matter of fact, let me clarify that. Because okay. I noticed, I noticed mm-hmm. a lot of people saying... Um, this is the podcast. This is the po- it's not the podcast. Actually, the show was birthed on the podcast. The mm-hmm. MOR VOH basketball experience like a year ago, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, a I think couple I just of days ago, yeah. 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 yeah, it was like a year ago we how, started. How ironic is that? That's crazy. <laughs> and then a year Yo, later. Actually, the day we had the meeting here. Yeah, that was a year. Close this show and, you know, make, get everything, all the T's crossed, the yeah. I's dotted, all that. That that's was crazy. the one year anniversary. I think it was October 18th. So Something like that. Crazy. Know? That's it's nuts. And then we here. We doing here. a radio show. Taking it to another level. Yep. I mean, it, it's fire. And oh yeah, before I get into clarifying the show, make sure you uh, check out the hashtag VOH Play Hits playlist. You're going to hear that. Please do. Playing in the background. Please do. All the time. We got our own music that we we mm-hmm. ready to promote. And um, we got talent too. It's time uh, we start putting our guys out there. Just like I was doing with the podcast, this is what we're going to do with the radio show as well. Fact. Matter of fact, I got to give props to Devin Haley for this joint right here. Kick it to you. Fire. This song is fire, bro. Fire. Bro, it fire. took me back to I the hit, essence. Yo, I hit him up immediately like, yo, you got that 90s vibe on this, bro. Fire. Like, bro. This is R&B. This, that's R&B. When I heard that joint, and I, t- I told him, yo, this is fire, and he was like, yo, much appreciated. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, pardon my language. 
Well, shoot, he remembers who I am. <laughs> yeah, hold up. First of all, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's let this be known real quick. Yeah. It will be a donation box. Yes, for yeah. every cousin. It will be a donation box. So, if you got it like that, <laughs> you know, feel free, but the fines will go up. Yeah, the Believe fines that. will go up. I gotta, I gotta make sure I don't cuss on here. You yeah, know? Your DSP, I know this is your show. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know. I will get fined. Put, put that in the MOR. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Oh, matter of fact, if you guys are on social media, uh huh, check out the Facebook page. Okay. We're on um, the OH Basketball Facebook Live. We are live. Actually, this might be one of the first times we're live on our Facebook. I think it is. Wow, that's is it? Look. Yeah. That's dope. That's a great look. Yeah. First time, radio show. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to put the people on, man. We got to... We've been doing a lot, man. Actually, what am I... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we, we have... I'm in a good mood, man. Like, bro, 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 we should be. <laughs> so much to talk about. Yeah. It's been a lot of work. But let me, let me, let me get into clarifying the show. Right. This is not a podcast, although it has the vibes of the Blast podcast, my, mm -hmm. my brainchild, of course, but... This was birthed on that podcast platform. It's not a podcast. As you can see, this is a radio show. Like, you can hear this on 87.9. Say that again. A radio station? Or oh, FM? Wait, what's, FM. The, what's the radio station? 87.9 uh -huh. FM. Oh, let me do it. Let me do it. 87.9 Tune in to Vehicle Radio. Yo, everywhere. Yo. <laughs> Boys to men has been looking for you. Uh, All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. My man wants his voice back. <laughs> there you go. Yo, no, it's, that, it's a beautiful up. thing, man. This, it's it's a radio show, and, like, we're going to have ads, uh, opportunities, sponsorships, mm -hmm. mentions. Mm -hmm. it, it's a totally different animal. We got, you can call in. We'll probably take some callers later. Absolutely. Um, we got time. We started a little late, but they gave us some time. So it's it's a beautiful situation that we got going on here. But uh, let's talk about the VOH basketball app. <laughs> yo, first of all, Wait, why you said why you said it like that? <laughs> I, I, yo, I have to. I have to. How, all right, let me let me let me give us some some context. How many leagues do you know? Oh man, mm. have their own app. You get disrespectful. I'm not I, hey. spicy. Facts, right up, right, out the right gate, off the, the gate, the spice. The spice. Facts <laughs> have no feelings. So I'm just <laughs> speaking <laughs> facts. Let me get man. some water, man. <laughs> this is getting spicy See, already, man. I just got here. I'm we, just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, I just this is this is why I said it the way I said it. Uh, I just say it like that because <laughs> I don't know too many too many other leagues that have their own app that have their own content. I don't know any besides the NBA and the NCAA. I don't not, know not a pro, not a pro uh -oh. man league like that. Uh oh, you know what that music means. Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> this summer, <laughs> this, this summer. That's right. <laughs> oh, I got you, yo. This summer. You already know. Go ahead. -O -H. -H. Yeah, we on your neck, player. That's it. That's it. I know. Like. Discuss like the beauty of that the uh, whole app situation. All jokes aside, all jokes aside. Uh, shout out to Twenty Four Hour Baby, mm -hmm. uh, Erica at Twenty Four Hour Baby for actually making this thing a reality. Me, I'm a, a person that uh, you know I pride myself on watching what people are doing, how parts are moving, things like that. But I'm not gonna pride myself on watching like what somebody's doing that can't benefit me. And I'm definitely not going to pride myself on watching and hating. That just takes too much time and energy. So me, being the man that I am, I uh, saw the NBA doing what they do. <laughs> so mm. naturally, you know, if we're going to mimic something, Why then I'm going to try to mimic the best. So they, they got an app. We need an app. That's a fact. Pretty much. So, you know, VOH League app, make sure you uh, look for that. Right okay, now we have, a, we have a beta app running through a team app. So we have a beta version right now that you could log on, sign up. I'm telling you, sign up now. Do what you got to do now. Mm -hmm. Do it early. Get there's, grandfathered in. Yeah. Trust me. There's original content on there. There's games on there. It's, yeah. it's a beautiful situation. We man. actually have uh, two episodes of Chopped Up. So uh, that. I, we'll get into Chopped and we'll yeah, yeah. talk about that. For sure. We have uh, the highlights from VOH Day. I'm sure we'll get mm -hmm. into that and yes, talk we about are. that. Yes, we are. Uh, we have the highlights from Baby Dunk. Baby Dunk was a 
crazy, crazy, Yo, crazy situation. Crazy, Yo, shout out to Baby Dunk, shout the whole out to family, Baby Dunk. Jerry, the whole fam. Shout out to Baby Dunk for right. coming up to Rockland County mm -hmm. for the first time ever. Okay. And putting on a show. That's dope. Mm -hmm. These kids that came out, shout out to the Straw, Straw Town in the building. Absolutely. Shout out to all them kids that came out here, man, that, uh, that, uh, did what they did, man. We took it to the Mecca, as you know. Yeah, of course. From that area. Of course. Yeah. Dale, Samson, Dale Park. Samson, Dale Park. And my young boys would call it the Dale. The Dale. You know? Dale. And I ain't okay. even mad at that. I didn't know? know he called it they that. Call it, call it they the call Dale. it the Dale, boy. They, yeah. they even pressed me like, yo, you valid in the Dale. I said, all right, good oh, looks. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> good looks. that. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's man, what you know? it is. Bro. But yeah, so, you know, uh, BOH Day, we pretty much... We only had a small window because obviously there was no basketball going on. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, just tried to take advantage of the opportunity, man. As always, if you stay ready, you never got to get ready. Fact. And we were ready for the moment. So the moment that uh, this came, we, we took advantage, bro. We, I mean, we had Big AAU turnout. teams, yeah, you know. Say, shout turnout. out to Palisades Elite. Yeah, shout yeah, out to uh, the Junior Tigers. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Team Rock Fam that came out, yeah. you know. Uh, shout out to High Optics, Fail you know. Never. Fail Never. Shout out yeah. to Fail Never, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Shout and those out to, were AAU teams, you yeah. said. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a, you know. Straw Town Records, definitely shout, shout out to, to y'all. Straw Town Records. That is oh, we can't look. forget Upstate, the Hudson Valley Kings. The Hudson Valley Kings Shout out to the through. Hudson Valley Kings, man. They, they came through. through, did their thing. And then we had, uh, we had other people out there that, you know, but we'll get into that later as well. Okay. You know, like, okay. I don't want to take up all all the time right now. Yeah, yeah. And Z, you know, we My got God. we uh -oh. got we gotta talk about what's going on talk to with M O R Apparel. I'm trying to God. find out myself. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I know uh, I know you got the uh, you got a quarantine capsule. Uh, Yo, I don't like how this guy I don't like how this guy yeah, I don't like up, this. Right? Like, <laughs> I do not like this. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man, this is this is a different vibe. I'm on the radio now. That's a so fact. I gotta gotta get What's the, the station? 87.9 yes. FM. That's Total right. Generation Yo, 2000. You, on, Talk to him. you are on FM radio, bro. That's a fact. That's a, it's a come up, man. <laughs> Especially uh, starting the podcast about a year and some change ago. Mm -hmm. You know, so to get here, which is, every time I talk to you guys, I always tell you, the reason why I started the podcast was to create opportunities for myself and anyone that came through. And from what I'm saying, it's actually... Take your place. Word. So just to see this, I was like, all right, I am manifesting my future, and, mm -hmm. and I got the homies with me. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's 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 only gonna get better from here. It's you know fact, what I mean? Yeah. So ah. But yeah, MOR Apparel. Yes, man. sir. Um, so the quarantine capsule is uh is moving next week. Be on the lookout for some drops. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the exact date, but if you already put in your pre-orders for that green suit, for that never tuck your town suit. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. You next week look for them. Look for them dates. You know what I'm saying. Look for that. Tune into the website. Get everything you need to get off the website. Um, that's www.morapparelus.com. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, when you when you post it, tag us in it. Tag them. We'll feature you on the page. All that good stuff. But yeah, man, it's the first drop of the quarantine capsule, and we're just gonna keep dropping stuff on your head top. Going forward, how, how's the feedback been for that? I know, I yeah. know. Once they seen that Never Tuck Your Town, when they seen the hoodie and short set, I know they were going crazy. Yo, they blowing my DMs up. The pre, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, finish getting the pre orders. We don't got like size two X already sold out. Mm -hmm. We ain't even dropped yet. You know what I'm saying? So things like that are happening. The nice. feedback is happening. Yo, so mm. that that's what it is. I'm proud of you, brother. Thank you, man. And We're now, working. now, now. Radio show, uh, like, yeah. Uh -uh. My fashion, my show. Talk to him. You know what I'm saying? So Talk it's a beautiful, him. it's a beautiful situation. We got a league right. with the app and a radio show. Mm -hmm. We got fashion with. Well, it's like you're with the league too because I'm a, yo, I got my hands. Like oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 DSP. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I don't get mad at myself. Yeah, this, ain't, this ain't that type of interview, player. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's a lot going on. I'm just trying to keep people, you know, inform them what, what this movement actually is because it's like, it's exactly what we're doing here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a movement. I mean, know? hopefully, I hope that anybody that's been watching or following the league from at least, let's say, 2015, I hope that uh, you've been seeing the changes and the growth. And you appreciate it. That's that's the only thing I can ask. I hope that you appreciate it and you see what's going on because we're trying to, you know, not only 
hoop, like hooping is a part of it, but mm-hmm. we're trying to really change lives and, and make nice. better men of, of these young guys and mm-hmm. give them something constructive to do because, trust me, I know what it's like. Mm-hmm. Believe that. So anybody listening out there that thinks that, you know, they're looking at this whatever version of Brett Bronson and they perceive whatever perception they perceive them, trust me when I tell you I was you at a time, man. That's so, a fact. You just so, got Put your mind to it at the end of the day, man. Yeah, just stay focused, you know. If you got a dream, believe in your dream. Surround yourselves with people with some positive energy that can feed into your dream. Right. And hopefully your dreams can bounce off and help their dreams and then y'all grow together. That's if it fact. don't work that way, then leave it alone. That's you're fact. wasting your time, you're wasting your energy. That's and, you fact. know, one of the most beautiful things about the league and everything surrounding it, it's inspiring, you know. Yeah. Because there's people that don't believe in, they got ideas in their head and they don't believe in their ideas. They don't believe in themselves right now. And they watching just regular dudes from Overlook Road, yep. three dudes from Overlook Road, really just apply their energy to their dreams. Yep. And look what it turned into, yo. This yeah. 2013, this was a league with some t-shirts, t-shirts in, in, in the rec center, yep. you know, for bragging rights. And now we on the radio, bro. Talking about the app. The <laughs> we're on the radio talking about the app. The dealing league. with full uniforms, Perfect. the flyest uniforms, by the way, and Perfect. and and you don't make me put the theme music back on. You might have before <laughs> I get spicy. <laughs> right? Don't even. You know, I, I see you. Do. I respect. <laughs> I respect once again. I respect all the other leagues out there. Absolutely. But these uniforms over here, man, they're it's a little bit different. different. And yeah. the only reason why I will say that they're different is because there's no uniform that doesn't have a direct impact from the person designing it. Mm. Yep. You yes. Know, everything is from their spirit. Yes. Like, and if their you, story. You know they what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Well, we they'll, them. they'll tell us an idea and we'll okay. guide them to a design route. Okay. Okay. Instead of you just telling me like, "Yo, I want to be team," you know, shoots big shots, <laughs> and then you know, I want a brick <laughs> wall like, on my jersey. Like, nah, bro, that don't make no sense. Why would I put a brick wall on shoots big shots? Yeah, yeah, just you know? so you're shooting bricks. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you feel me? So, you know, I just want to guide people into the, you know, right that's creative cool. direction to make sure that whatever you're going to put on, it represents you. It doesn't make sense that you're going to build a uniform, right? You, how about this? You get the opportunity in a league to create your own uniform, mm-hmm. right? And instead of some people saying, yo, my man's got a brand, I'm going to take his brand and make that the name of my team. Mm-hmm. Y'all going to tell me something about some foolishness. Facts. That's already, <laughs> that's fact. that's already paid in full. Yeah. You know, y'all going to be the shmoney team or the, you know, the, the shmurda dance. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know like, what I mean? Like, this is an opportunity. Come on. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Correct. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. Have fun. Yeah, you definitely. Think? First of all, first of all, with that being said, shout out to a team like Globo Gym. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Came through. I'm like, yo, so what's your name? Globo Gym. I'm like, nah, for real. Like, what's your name? Nah. You're that serious. Like, Globo Gym. Yeah, yeah. I said, okay. Mm-hmm. So, if y'all gonna be Globo Gym, then we gonna be Globo Gym all the way. Y'all gonna be purple, black, purple. and white, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this, that, that, this. And it was like, perfect. Mm-hmm. And then look, one chip. chip. <laughs> one chip. Shout out to another Curry. Shout out to another Curry. Shout out to Nav the Brown we, Boy. We, we, the brown we had boy. to talk about another Curry. We, we did. Oh my God. On VOH Day. So you might as well Ooh. just jump in the Let's get into it. Oh Let's get into God. VOH Day. That was a beautiful day. A great event. VOH you guys day. had a great turnout. Yes. It took it when I was watching it. It took me back to when we used to ball at the park. Exactly. And thank you for saying that because some of these young dudes don't understand. Like when I say like it's the mecca. Like I really believe in my heart that. Yeah. A lot of great players came out of that park, mm-hmm. and I would put, you know, obviously in their primes, I would put them in their primes against anybody, pretty much anybody Absolutely. in the world. Like, Absolutely. I'm that confident that some of the guys that came out of that park at that time, and even Spring Valley, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out to Spring Valley. Shout out to Quam, because if Quam didn't do what he did for me, yeah, then there would be no VOH. There would be no VOH. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. You know, shout out to Dennis Brown. That's oh, a name. Yeah. That is a name. Oh, that is a name that people should know. If yeah. We're gonna talk about Sansondale Park. It's you better fact. know Dennis Brown, because if fact. it wasn't for Dennis Brown, there is no V O H basketball. It's I promise y'all that. Because Dennis Brown see me in raggedy old Sansondale Park mm-hmm. and said, "Hey man," that was his voice. <coughs> "Hey man, hey Sean man, you, 
Yo, man, what are you doing over here, man? Take your skills somewhere. Yeah, you need to take your skills to the city, man. They need to see you. Yep. Hold on. And then on top of that, he didn't just say that and then keep it moving. Nah, he took it. Yo, Saturday, let's pile up in my whip. And I'm going to take you out of Dykeman. I'm going to take you out of West Fork. I'm going to take you out of all these parts in the city that you hear about. Yep. And we're going to go put in work. And we're going to go put in work. And that is probably one of the origins of Never Tuck Your Town. Because I remember going down there and, you know, I, I I will... how do, y'all, how do they say it? My receipts? I ain't got receipts from them because we talking early 2000s, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what, phones ain't have cameras. Yet. But what I do have is my man's Jonathan Peralta. Shout out to Preacher Peralta. Uh-huh. Oh, my <laughs> you God. Know, who can't tell a lie at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and he was there when we played against Terror Squad. Yeah. And they was calling one of the players on my team. I'm not going to say his name. They was calling him Upstate, and it was driving me wild, bro. Right. They were calling him Upstate, and it was so disrespectful. Like, yeah. Upstate, another turnover, Upstate. Yeah. I remember calling the timeout and just yelling, like, yo, if y'all don't want to play, go home. Yeah, y'all right. scared. Like, yeah. And then right. I, I never played, I never played to this day. I never played a game harder than that in my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I wanted to win so bad. Yeah. Because they, they just were so disrespectful to the area. It wasn't yeah. even right. like me. It wasn't even like my skills. It was just like, oh, y'all from there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. I was tight because I had a tournament that weekend. I was yeah. supposed to go to that game. I was tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. is crazy because prior to getting into Dykeman, at those times, you couldn't pay your way in. Mm-hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't I don't know right. if that's a true thing, so yeah. I don't want to put that out. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't just be like, oh, I'm such and such and get in. Nah, yeah. you had to play your way in. Yeah, yeah, so we had to ahead. meet up yeah. on a Saturday morning, mm-hmm. and we had to scrape some teams yeah. and then work our way into the lineup. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Mm-hmm. So now, anyway, backtracking to the story, we're out there. They're calling us upstate, this, this, that. Nah, I'm not rocking with that. Give me the rock. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going ham. Mm-hmm. Fat Joe talking about, yo, stop letting that beep, beep, beep score. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah, are yeah. y'all letting him score? Yeah, this, yeah. this, that. Yeah. Bro, after that game, I promise you, I cried my eyes out, man. Like, I never wanted to win so bad. And we lost. Uh, (laughs) That's what made it even worse. We lost, and I played, like, the hardest I ever... Yo, I'm telling you. I played a lot of basketball, bro. Yeah. That was the hardest I ever played, because I just felt so disrespected, Yeah, yeah. And that's where I feel like this never tuck your town feeling comes in. That's where the energy's from. From basketball, from different stages, from different, you know locations, yeah. events, things like that, where it's like, where you from? Oh, I'm from Rockland. And they roll their eyes. And like, they're like, where oh, oh, yeah? Where that? oh, yeah? Okay, then after, you know, you do what you do and you prove yourself. Yeah, now it's like, oh, yo, what's going on? Yo, is Rockland there Brooklyn? Nah, that's far Rockland. Nah, <laughs> nah, <far laughs> thank you. Island, nah, other direction, bro. Yeah, not far Rockland. So right. never tuck your town. is heavy out there. And I'm checking all you town tuckers out there. Believe that. <laughs> I be seeing y'all, yeah, man. I'll be it's seeing shame, y'all. Bro. Come it's on, sad. man. This is Never Tuck Your Town Radio, so we will be talking Facts. about it. That's a fact. <laughs> this is definitely Never Tuck Your Town Radio. <laughs> I like that. I like that. We got the hashtag at. I, for real, you, bro. Know, you know how we for do. Real. But yeah, man, um, I just wanted to plug a few people. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Um, Last Life Gaming Network. Big Ooh. shout out to Rob. Shout out. Oh. I, I, you, know, you know I had to shout out my, my brother um, doing his thing Word. with the gaming network. I mean, mm-hmm. right now what he's doing with the ASB and the um, College Hoops Five. series is, is just, dude, he, he made an RPG basketball Word. league. Word. Like, and, and it's entertaining. The best thing, I don't want to cut you off, but the best that. thing about his channel is he's talking the whole time. It engaging. Feels like he's engaging you. You sign in and you type to him. He says what up and, yeah. and chimes back in right away. Yep. And he's still tuned in with the, you know, keeping the show going on. It's a beautiful thing he got going yeah, on. It's a, it's, a, it's a dope situation. Sounds and like it. we need that last life. VOH mm-hmm. situation. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah, Yo, you got bombs on the soundboard or something? <laughs> <laughs> we, don't worry. We got we got to figure that out. We got to figure that out. This episode what? This episode one. We just want like like I said. This is more of an introduction right. to what we're gonna be doing. Um, just to get them familiar with the voices, get them familiar with me, you, and uh, Z. So I mean, it, it's it's a beautiful situation. I just wanted to shout out my brother doing. Amazing work with Last Life Gaming work Network. He has Last Life Gaming. He has the ASB going on. Mm-hmm. He did a little XFL. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I saw that went viral for a second. I seen. Viral. I seen yeah. that a lot of people were checking in on that when well, he did the XFL time, joint. It was during the pandemic, mm-hmm. and the XFL had shut down yeah, right right before that. Yeah, and yeah. he was like, "Why don't I just just do the XFL gimmick?" If you right. stay ready, 
You never have to get rid. And you know, y'all yeah, know Bravo. He was always on the digital side of. Always, yeah. bro. We, we had the live '96 joint in yeah. the garage. Yeah, like that. I won, by the way. Shout out to Joe Clark. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Shout out to Joe Clark, Phoenix Suns MVP. Holla at me, holla, holla. Yeah, Joe Clark was a beast in that game for no reason, dog. <laughs> bro, Yo, bro. Joe Clark was mad cheap in <laughs> the live '96. It was like some glitch, and he was just doing it the was, most. It was, it was. I right, sorry to do that, but no, no, it's all good. That's. Can't wait to get this. I can't wait to get the. Well, saying that, you know, because we had a few tournaments. Remember, we had the 2K tournament that we did. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I want to actually start moving into a space where we're doing more gaming, more tournaments, more things of that nature. But if we're going to do gaming, you already know it's going to have the VOH, MOR experience. Of course. Of course. So all the uniforms will be by MOR Apparel. Already. All the gyms will look like the gyms that we play in. Play so in. You, you're going to get the classic Havistraw gym with yep. the, the red down. and blue tiles. It Fire. might might be slippery if you got a summer game. For <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all know from back in the day, but shout, shout out to the rec center, though. Yeah. Shout out to the Havistraw rec center. Heard they got the AC popping, yes. got the heat popping, oh, okay. everything going on down there. Very a good. lot of things going I'm on okay. down there for the Havistraw rec, so yeah, shout yeah, out to them, good. shout out to them. Yeah. So, you know, it's everything's coming together, man. Even though you don't have to be, quote, unquote, working together side by side, yeah. I feel like if the mentality is still the same, then you'll eventually meet up at some point. Some point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so, and they, always, they always seem that seem like they want to help out with the community. The people that I know that were always there. I don't know the people there now, mm-hmm. but before... They were always about the community. Shout and they, out to Jenny. And mm, oh, oh, oh. throwback. First of all, if you're from the town, you know who Jenny is. That's a throwback. If you know who Jenny and Ma is. Ma, you know, yes. Shout throwback. out to Ma too. So that's, really? that's when I used to be frequently you going there. They you. were holding down the fort. You know, that's when saying? I used to live there. Bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Tim Sanders, who's doing his thing now, too, as well. Frankie Vasquez as well. Frankie Vasquez. I seen Tim get an award, so big shout out to big Tim. Shout I didn't want to say that. Yo, Tim. I, got, I need that loan soon, Tim. Right. I see you shaking hands. I shaking see you hands with the right people. You feel me? So I'm like, Rockland right, County Tim. Press. I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta get that loan soon, Tim. I, I mean, we need, to, we need to get him on the show since he's doing press. That's Ooh. a fact. Hey, I just saw him at the barbershop yesterday. Okay. Man, looking like a million bucks. Feeling good? Had the whole, he had like three people around him cutting his hair. I was like, yo, I need to get to that level. I believe yo. it. And you know what? I believe that too. Because 9W Barber, man, Butz the Barber, he be acting up, man. Okay. Word. Okay. Ever since he started making beats, Butz been acting up. So I'm sure Tim be getting the towel treatment. All types of treatment the hot towels. Oh. Yo, Bugs used to cut my hair on his toilet bowl. I ain't never got a towel treatment yet, bro. Hey, you yo. feel me? He cut my hair in the early 90s on the toilet the bowl. I ain't Get a towel treatment yet, bro? Tim Lucas <laughs> coming out here getting towel treatments. Tim Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> 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 big, big shout out to our guy, man. But yeah, yo, big shout out to Bravo for sure. Last Life Gaming. Last Life, Life Gaming. Tap into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can follow them. You can follow him on Instagram and Twitter. Last underscore Life Gaming. Don't mm-hmm. forget, of course, subscribe to the YouTube. Pop channel. in, pop in. Last Life Gaming. Talk to him. Tap into that for sure, man. Um, big shout out to One Job Gaming and big shout out to Cirque Gaming. Those are also close affiliates of my brother. You might even see them play uh, 2K together on their on my brother's streaming. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's it's live. We got a lot of good people around us. Also, you heard a shout out in Satiable Productions before. Huge shout out to them. And a uh, quick right. mention of because around this time you, we probably get into like an ad or something that right now. So I just wanted to mention that. We will have ads and sponsorship packages coming soon, and I'm gonna tell you now, it's not free. Uh oh, because <laughs> you on the radio. Oh this is, man, this, price don't went up. The price yeah. went up. Don't don't get my don't don't get me gas today. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't make me start the music. <laughs> I'm glad you're the music. Don't make like, me put the music but nah, back on. Like there's a lot of moving parts that are involved here so like we got to make sure everyone's taken care of that's a fact we got to make sure the co-host is taken care of we also got to make sure that the radio station is taken care of Word. because it's not only an opportunity to get your ad on here you'll also get your ad on the radio station so mm-hmm. whatever shows they have they'll put your ad on there i mean you got to talk to the guys that are in charge of radio generation 2000 mm-hmm. their their package may be a little different from ours i don't know but you'd have to talk to them. Big shout out to Fritz and right. um, Radio Generations 2000. So it's, it's a beautiful thing that we got going on here. But uh, 
Let's talk about the VOH play hits playlist. I don't think Whoa. we ever we ever sat down and like talk about your creation that you curated here. You got about two hundred. 200, 200, you know, it's 245 <laughs> songs. Yes, and you know why I know that? Because I added them individually to the <laughs> Apple Music joint. Okay. So forever. Now, so now there's no excuse. All you all you artists out there that are on the playlist, y'all are on Spotify and, and Apple. Oh, mm-hmm. see, so I did not no know excuse. about the yeah. Apple look. So yeah, mm-hmm. we just kind of did that. Oh, okay, right. okay, okay. So I don't feel that bad because I was like, dang, I wasn't... No, 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 that's that's plugging the app. So... Now it's on Spotify. Oh, that's a great look, guys. Right. Yeah. Spotify. Because a lot of people that we know, iPhone heads. Right. You know what I mean? Sometimes they're like, they're like, I don't, I don't want to go Spotify. I'm an iTunes person. I don't, I don't care about your, your filthy Android. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are, yo, first of all. I didn't know it was that Yo, serious. y'all are real disrespectful, all right? Stop the phone shaming. <laughs> Stop the phone shaming, yo. Let me live with my Android. You know what I mean? I know on the live it be looking mad blurry. Yeah, it looks so, like a Sega CD cutscene. Yeah, it's yeah, all good. Yeah. It does look blurry. But on the app, it's HD. That's it. That's <laughs> it. 4K. You feel me? So take the app. But as far as uh, the playlist. Yeah, man. Let them know like how um, did that come into fruition and all that. So basically, what's up with the playlist? A little history. Um, For those who don't know, Brett Bronson, One Day 4 5, all this other stuff. Uh, I do music. Uh, I I would consider myself an artist. I don't know if I would consider myself a rapper these days, but I would definitely consider myself an artist. Uh, and in a long story short kind of vibe, I would just say musically I've taken a lot of risks mm-hmm. and and uh, had a lot of warranted success that now I could hopefully pass on to others. To you know, you could either take the advice or you you don't. You, you know, don't. I'm a I'm going to do what I can to help you learn, but if you don't want to learn, that's on you. You know, can't I, mean? force them. Right. I cannot force you, you know, but trust me when I tell you, any musicians out there that are on the playlist, uh, right now, this is a beautiful opportunity for you. Yes, you are grandfathered into the playlist. Trust me, trust me, trust me. First of all, most of you guys on the playlist know me from the showcase era. Yes. Right. Y'all know me from the showcase era. We're right. talking like 2008, 2009 yep. to like 2016, 17. Yep. You know what I mean? Like every six weeks, another showcase, right. you know? So For your head top. You yeah, know? like we were really... So this Real music consistent. thing, if anybody wants to do their history, hit that money over rest hashtag. Yep. You know, this music thing is not something new. This is something that's been going on. It's just that, uh, you know, now our focus is a little different. Moving into basketball, moving into fashion... Uh, moving into more of a visual standpoint, more media, uh, more a lot more media, because yeah. we're definitely moving into a, a space where we're thinking about doing plays, musicals, nice. movies, nice. you know, animation, animated yep. series. Yep. You know, we want to make sure that uh, we cover all bases because mm-hmm. I honestly feel in my heart that where I live in Rockland County, eight four five, we have just enough talent as, as anybody else. else. Yep. As anyone else. So, it's not more. And you know the good thing about this playlist? It shines light on that. Because yes. when I'm playing it in a place that, you know, I don't mention what it is. Yeah. And people say, oh, what, yo, who is that? What mm-hmm. song is this? Mm-hmm. I let them know where they're from. Yeah, they're from your town. And you don't even know they yep. got music exactly. on it. And you, thought this joint, and you thought this joint was just some Regular fire radio. that you didn't yeah. hear. Go tap into the playlist and give these people a shot. Because they're putting out quality music, quality videos to back it up. Yep. These people are groomed. They they really putting their energy into their into their craft. So. That's a fact. Yeah. Matter of fact, one of the artists we are listening to right now, Stan Michael. Oh my God. He's been around since what the first showcase. Part? Stan Michaels has been in show in my showcases, yeah. one showcases. Yes. Uh, when we were at El Molino's in Nyack, there's not even El Molino's. No, no more. No. So anyway, yeah. When we were at El Molino's in Nyack, I remember he brought a band, yo. A live band. He brought a live band. He killed it. What? That's what I'm saying. Like the like. I, I didn't I, know. I, that. I understand what's going on right now with the music scene, and I love it, right? Yeah. yeah. But I feel like right now what we're missing is that aspect of like organic sound. Yeah. And all that. Not yeah. even the sound. I don't mind the sound yeah. because everybody, you know, you're entitled to your own sound. That's but right. I just feel like the artists aren't connecting with the fans any longer in that way. I got you. Like now, it's a lot more, you know. 
get on a playlist, get some plays, get yeah. some spins, yeah. this is that. But now if I ask, if I dare to ask the artist, how many shows have you done? You know, it's they like, say much. yeah, it's, nah. oh, I did, or, you know, or come perform because we about to pull up with a stage and they don't want to, they don't want to do it. Yeah. 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 That's another thing. I'm not going to say artists are scared to perform because I'm not going to use that, that language, that language but yeah. there's definitely something going on where artists are not taking these opportunities to perform seriously, we'll say. Because mm. any VOH event that we have that's a big event, oh, yes. I am going to put a VOH Play Hits artist there. Yes. Why? Because I really believe in their music, I believe right. in their brand, and I think that right. their sound, if it's heard at the right level, could put them in different places. Yeah, like mm. you did with uh, VOH Day. You had uh, T-Sos, T-Sos, shout out to them, Coin, shout Coin, out to them, Harvest Fly Tay, Drew, Fly High Drew, Harvest Tay. Tay. Yo, Ooh, yo, monster. Speaking of, uh, since we're talking playlists, right? Monster. All right, so, she, shout out to Rico. Yeah, right, because right. Rico's from my era, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Where, where you had to come outside. I don't know if anybody watches Black Clover, the anime, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you know how they got those spell books. Yep, like the grimoires. In, in yes. those days, if you didn't have your grimoire yeah, ready, yep, yeah. it, it, it could have <laughs> went down. <laughs> Real way. Yeah. So he's from that cloth, yep. and to see his daughter mm-hmm. putting in this musical work, yeah, yeah, it's it's beautiful, man. Yeah, like, and, I, and I like how she has her own sound, doing her yep. own thing, Word. and she's connecting with her generation. Yeah, yep. I was like, yo, and then to have Rico behind her to keep make sure her drive is there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful. And thing. that video's fire. Pop yes. out, pop out, pop out, pop out. Yo. Yo. and that video's fire. I think my dude Plug Nine Media uh, shot that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout, shout out to dope. Plug Nine. So shout big, big shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So from the town. Split for that. Split for that. Yeah, that's that's, that's the same brother. So Smart big shout out. Yeah, big shout out to him. So yeah, man. I, I like what's going on with the playlist, and what's good about it is the artists are engaged in it as well. Mm-hmm. Like. Sometimes you don't even have to tell an artist, yo, repost. Sometimes you do. You're like, hey, if you repost this, guess what? More eyes, more ears, exactly. more opportunities are made. But And you don't get hit with that package because Speaking the up. price is going up. Yo. Speaking of, and I thank you for saying that, DSP, yes, about sir. pushing the playlist. Yes. Literally at this point in time, the only thing an artist has to do that's on the playlist currently is push the playlist. That's right? it. And I'm not saying, like, you know, you got to make it like a daily routine. No. I'm literally asking for, like, a twice a month reminder that you're on the playlist to your people. Yep. So they always go back to check the playlist. Because mm-hmm. once they come to the playlist, they'll find others. Others. You know? Just And anybody playing the playlist, just put it on shuffle, all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything you don't like, just skip. Just skip. That's right. it. Simply skip. Yeah, that's all. Man. You know, I mean, we ain't here to about, disrespect anybody's craft. Just skip. It's about 13 plus hours of music. So, Word. like, if you're cleaning, if you're cooking, if, if you have friends over, whatever you're doing, it, it can provide the vibe for that situation Fact. right then and there. And it's all local artists or producers that work with other artists outside. It, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful situation. Yeah, there's, there's always some, you know... Six degree of separation yeah, or whatever of course. Right, right. Yeah. on this list. Of and course. then uh, also what I wanted to get into is we will be uh, moving into a VOH Play Hits website. Oh. So what mm. we're going to do is we're going to make sure, moves. yeah, we're going to make sure to, to right. take care of, of the artists that are doing what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So basically that's what it is. We're going to start this, this uh, website. It's going to gear towards the artists of... The playlist. Uh, hopefully, they'll take it seriously, create their profiles, do what they got to do, and then uh, now we could be the hub where they can learn more information about the artists on the playlist. That's, that's so if dope. they wanna, you know, like for instance, if they're running through the playlist and they got a favorite song, who's this right now? Marcus Charles. Yeah. So shout out to Marcus Charles who puts in a tremendous a of amount of work. Word. By the way, I respect his new project. project. You, feel me? Fire. you feel me? So yeah. shout out to Marcus Charles who puts in a tremendous amount of work. So imagine somebody that's never heard of Marcus Charles that's hearing the playlist for the first time. They'll be able to click him and then you know go to anything, anything. that he has. That's Word. fire. We're not trying to take anything away from nah. that. We're just trying to make sure that you know Take everything recognition. is everything is aligned so they Word. can get paid out correctly. Word. And, and also this, with the playlist. You know, the more spins you get, obviously, the more payola for yourself. So why would you not push the playlist? And and the playlist also gets played at every VOH basketball event, correct? Word. Yes, we don't play anything else. I'm not playing any other music. I'm not playing no Future. I'm not playing no Drake. I'm not playing no little TJ. 
I'm not playing none of that. Y'all can pull up though. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, no disrespect. I mean, no, 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 no. If if you pull up, that's nah, a yeah, different. Yeah, if you pull up, I'm gonna pay homage. That's yeah, right. But if you just you know checking in from a distance, you know yeah, what I mean. We good. You know we good on you, just like you good on us. That's no hard fact. feelings. Nah, it ain't no hard feelings. But you know we'll be here. This yeah. track, this train will keep running. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. we'll be here. That's we got a fact. we got plenty of other artists that I could compare to whatever artists is out there, and you know, listen, I'm not even gonna get into that, but. Just know, I got my money on my guys. That's a fact. In any Every situation. Time. Fact. So, let's get basketball, fashion, or music. Let's get back to VOH Day because uh, we, we got uh, taken away from No that. problem, no but, problem. Um, how, how, what was the feedback with that event? Like, what, because I know the players were excited because they hadn't played ball in like months. Yeah. So I know they were excited. I seen it in their play. I seen it when they were eager to get into play. So it was. I understand where the players, are, but what about the people that came through that that uh, love the VOH basketball platform? How did they feel about that day? Period. <laughs> uh, all right. So to say it in a in a in a form that that day was so crazy that we had to create the VOH culture page. Mm. I, I, I don't like that's pretty much that's pretty much like. The only way to explain it. Like, yeah. that day was so crazy and so impactful, and there was so much going on mm-hmm. that we had to create a whole nother page Fire. to have that type of content. Mm-hmm. There's so much content from that day that's still not released yet. Oh, There's shoot. so many pictures from that day. Really? Of so many people that came out. Mm-hmm. Thank you again, everybody that so came everybody out for BOH Day, because that was a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. And I can't wait to do it again next year, mm-hmm. you know, uh, bigger and better. Anybody out there that's listening or seeing this when it comes out, um, definitely hit us up, man, if you want to do something in advance. But we're definitely looking to go back, right back to Samsondale but and, yeah. uh, you know, making that happen again. Uh, it was it was crazy, man. So you're going to make that an annual thing, the VOH Day? Yeah, I want to make nice. it an annual thing, and hopefully uh, every year we could grow on it. Yeah. Think about it. This year we had zero basketball in Rockland County, right? Yeah. And I managed to squeeze out an event where we had six AAU teams and four unlimited teams. You know? That's a goodie. Yeah, and a live DJ and yeah. mad and food vendors. Word. Pull up, Shout out you know. to the BX Crusaders that pulled up. Word. You nice. know what I'm saying? Nice, Word. nice, nice, nice. Shout oh, out the vendors. Shout out who? Shout out the vendors. Oh, oh yeah. Shout out to sure. Good Roots that pulled up last minute. Mm-hmm. Made it, you know, fed the people. Um, they're located on Nine W in uh in West Havistro. Okay. They have Planet Wings. Little. Uh, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I know right what there. you mean. So, yeah, right yeah. Where somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. So shout out to them. We hit them up last minute the day of and said, "Yo, these people are hungry. You want to pull up?" Mm-hmm. They pulled up. That's with a dope. box full of food. That's dope. And took care of the people. We even gave away the extras at the end. So big shout out to them. Wow, Check them out, what's up, man. So but, yeah, yeah, definitely. I had to shout them out because. I, I wasn't aware that there was a, a vendor there feeding the people. Word. Yeah. So definitely, definitely wanted to shout that out for so sure. Next year, the idea would be to uh, have vendors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we want to actually, since we have so much space back there, Samsonville is a beautiful place yes, right? it is, in reality. Bro. It uh, is. I wish that, space, that we bro. would utilize that space more often. Um, hopefully, we could get this respect the youth league off the ground and start some summer sessions mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. That would you know, be, be dope. Spot. You know, so hopefully we could... Bring uh, the culture back there. Why am I saying hopefully so many times? We're about to. I'm not really hoping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're about, about to. Yeah, I ain't hoping. We're yeah, about we're to. Get get done. So, um, anyway, as far as that goes, I just think that we could put this all together where next year we could build a stage. Mm. Like, mm. So now we could have hoops and then you could actually, we could stop the hoops and really have a performance where yeah. you go over to the performance. There's all a stage. The lights and the speakers. You know, that yeah, type of that. stuff. Yeah, you know? that, that would be a great I want to really make this thing an event because, uh, once again, I really believe that we have some stars here. We have some, we some artists that are really stars that just need an opportunity. We have some hoopers that are mm-hmm. pros that yep. need some opportunities. Mm-hmm. Yep. We have some kids that that, you know, that are college ready, that need some opportunities. And all we're here to do is give opportunity an alternative. We got videographers. We got photographers. We got people that are launching their own clothing lines. We got, we really have, we got chefs. We got literally everything. Shout out to News the Don. The Don. Big shout out, big shout out. Seafood. Absolutely. Word out. But, like, also, the kids. Mm -hmm. The kids that are watching all of this. Exactly. Get inspired. Exactly. You know, so that's also a beautiful thing that... That we were talking about off mic. We're not going to get into too much detail about what we were mm-hmm. talking about. But we were talking about how this 
platform, VOH Basketball, is being disrupted in a positive way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But to, to, to the people that is disrupting, it's not so positive, but for the community... It's a positive disruption. Yeah, at some point you gotta flood the dinosaurs off the earth. Bro. Yo, you got. To, I know it sounds vulgar. We love you, dinosaurs, but <laughs> it's the truth. Like, right. why cheat those kids out of an opportunity because of greed? Exactly. You know what I mean? It, and, and a closed mind because you know you don't want to take advantage of all the technology and the new way to communicate and build. And 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 that's funny because that's what y'all did. Y'all used all the new technology and said. Hmm, Create something here. Mm -hmm. Now, what, 2013? Yeah, 2013. I'm starting Seven to notice, years later. Starting to notice a lot of interviews popping up in a lot of different leagues. <laughs> a lot of in game interviews that never pictures, happened. A lot of pictures you being know? taken out. Yeah, there. look like. A, a lot of leagues getting real swaggy out here. I'm like, mm -hmm. mm, look at y'all. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. You you know, know, I, I hope y'all can hear the smile on my face. You know, I appreciate <laughs> it. Oh, what what do they say? Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Absolutely. So, hey, but we pay, pay homage, bro. That's that's my beef. Pay homage. Don't like, like you made this. If we yeah, if we see you, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll acknowledge where you got it from. Yeah, but if, exactly. If you definitely go out your way and be like, yo, shout out to these guys. This is where I got it from. We're definitely gonna show you love. Might even pull up on you and be like, yo, exactly. Let's work. You know exactly. what I mean? Because that's what we're about at the end of the day. Uh, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Y'all I mean, yeah, can speak for yourself. Y'all yeah, already know if they show any type of violations, I'm not pulling up. That's, no, that's a fact, though. <laughs> look, that's man, a fact. Look, I'm with you man, once, once, once again. No, I'm with you on it. Once again, you know, more power to anybody else doing their thing, and I don't hate on anybody, but I'm not going to go out and show love to anybody that's not going to show love. And Word. just just for anybody watching right now, just check my story. Like, my story is usually... A bunch of things in my story, right? right. Mm -hmm. Now imagine ten percent. Imagine five percent of the people that I share shared me. How much bigger would this league be? It would be right. huge. If five percent of the people that I share consistently mm. shared me at the same rate, rate that I shared yeah. them. Exactly. Imagine how big this league would be. And the share is free. Free. It's, it's ten no seconds charge. of your time. Yo, I'm glad you brought this up. Yo, I, I don't think it's even ten, bro. I feel like I'm the. Uh, I'm going to say it. I feel like I'm one of the only brands out there that will willingly just post another brand, no no asking, no hey. nothing, uh -oh. and say, we the real designer, me, meaning us, our people. And our people. We designer. I'm not paying $900 for no Gucci jeans. No. Uh -oh. when, and I'm they don't even... when I'm flyer and you came to my hood and stole that style anyway, uh -oh. we the designer. Exactly. So uh -oh. why, So get off, get off that mindset where it's only you and post your brother. Yeah. Post somebody that's not even your brother. Just post somebody that's doing something positive. And bring the light to that's them. Why, that's what's why. What's for you is gonna be for you, no matter what. So it don't matter who I promote. If you like my vibe, you're gonna be my vibe. You that's know what I'm fine. saying? That's a fact. So do the same thing and get out that mindset where it only gotta be you and push what's going on in your city, and we can take over the world like that. That's a fact. That's why that one episode I did with um, all the fashion entrepreneurs, where it was mm -hmm. you, Anna Prevail, mm -hmm. Never Betray the Crown, and Live Free Die Trying. Word. I was like, yo, these four dudes right here are solid. Word. So I was like, let me get all four of these dudes on one episode. And I was fired. And people, yo, episode. they loved it. That like, everyone that, that deals with those brands mm -hmm. hit me up and was like, yo, this was a great episode. Like, you really put them out there. And I was like, and you guys, the guys that I talked to, they were like, yo, this is it's great. Fire, yeah. yeah, they were like, yo, I didn't know it was going to come out like this. One person was like, yo, did I sound crazy? And I was like, nah, you sound it perfect. Was dope. Like, yo, it was perfect. That yeah. was a dope yo, episode, yo. That was a dope 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 episode thank you brother first of all seeing like all these brands coming together yeah and and just you know being positive because like, like z just said yeah. man trust me if your brand is strong you're good yeah you have right? nothing to worry about. you don't have to worry about that nope. if your brand is good you're good but now if your customer service is iffy if you're not calling back you're mm -hmm. not you're not doing things of the company that should be done yes then it's going to be an issue. Exactly. If, if people believe in you and your brand, you're going to be all right, man. You don't got to worry about the next man. Trust me. All you're doing is wasting time and energy focusing on somebody else when you could be building for yourself. Exactly. Fact. Now, if you got the one where and I watch it and it's three sizes too small, then oh, don't no. post me because I might steal your time. Oh, but if no, you got, man. as long as you holding, as long as you holding your business down and doing what you're supposed to do the That's right why way, this music is on. and you got the, your quality on on par and all that. 
post everybody that got something going on. It don't got to be all about Just you. you know? Yeah, that's Crabs true. in the barrel. Yeah, man, that's that's a fact. That's a deadly mentality that uh, many of, many of our people have. But I am starting to notice a change, which is beautiful. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's shout out to the brands that actually do mess rock with us. Shout out to Say La Vie. Shout mm-hmm. out to Trust Your Big Energy. Shout out to, shout out to Lavi, yeah. Absolutely. Um, shout out to Never Betray the Crown. Shout yes. out to Air to Prevail. Live shout out free. to Live Free. free. Yeah, Still ain't holla, holla, holla at me about these socks. I'm trying to get a pair of Live Free socks. Right, right, good, right. Day day. What up, Day Day? What up, King? Yo, first right, of all, yeah, hold on. Way, first right. of all, first of all, before we shout out Day Day, I'm sick of Day Day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to change the music because I want to go in. You know, I'm going to put something a little lighter on. You know what I'm saying? That gladiator, come on, they got people talking real spicy with gladiator. Yeah, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me hit this solar nights. You know what I'm saying? Let, yeah, me, let, me, let me lighten this up real quick. So now, Day Day, that's my guy, man. So, VOH Day, shout out to Day Day. Mm. Comes through in the clutch, brings his team, Word. his team of young, scrappy guys. Okay. They're doing their thing. And they're playing against the BX Crusaders. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. That's an ABA team. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not going to lie. Live Free punched. <laughs> Live Free. Where? Live Free, led by youngest brother in charge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to him. Du- double, double time that yeah, day. Feel me. Mm-hmm. Youngest brother in charge put at work. Yeah. Right. He might be Jamaican. You know how they always have a <laughs> team drive <laughs> <house. laughs> yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> yeah. He was putting at work. That's he was doing the camera. He played two games. Okay. He, was doing, he was doing everything, bro. Okay. So shout out to him. But once again, with Live Free, they they ooh, they handled them boys. And I they had the yellow, the they yellow, the game yellow and purple. Yeah, right? you know they had yeah. the Kobe colors. That's how we yeah. gonna we gonna identify that as the Kobe colors. Wait, hold. First of all, hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. I don't want to hear none of y'all talking about Kobe color now. That right? word. Now that I just said that, I don't want to hear like, oh yeah, word. Trademark, trademark. Don't, don't, oh yeah, word. Save that, oh yeah, word. I said it first. Right. <laughs> trademark that right now. TM. You feel me? Size. Word. Kobe but you, color. But that's, no, that, those, those jerseys were amazing. Cause it was because I remember they had uh, what was it like teal and red before? Yeah, they mm-hmm. they, they had the teal, the and summer vibe, like red, the South Beach vibe. Red wouldn't be the color because now that I got that uh that Pantone of <laughs> of, of different like, colors here, of yeah. a million colors, you yeah. Know? yeah. It would. I it was like the South Beach pink. Yeah, like a like, no, okay, pink. flamingo yeah. kind Rose of thing. Rose pink. Okay, okay, okay. Something okay. like that. And then when I saw the purple and yellow, I was like, oh, mm. this is this is this is the dedication. Now let me let you know. He told me he wanted to be a different color. Okay. And I said to him, bro, come on, man, <laughs> come on. This is the only color. If you're talking about some live free yeah. or die trying, this is the only color that could represent that. Absolutely. Right. You feel me? Absolutely. And then what's super crazy is the fact that like, you know, you gotta. A guy like that with the Kobe colors, and then remember when we had our event yeah. with uh, the other ABA team mm-hmm. with the uh, the New York Eagles, yeah, okay. Black Eagles, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, with Roman yes. Perez. Yes. Shout out to shout Roman to Perez. Big shout out to him. Yo, that was the day that Kobe passed, and we found yes. the news. Remember? Yes, that I was remember. The day we got the news it on the live stream. True, and I, I was in man. Miami, and I missed that event too, and I was sick, and then yeah. I got that news, and I I was tuning into the live, and I'm like. Yo, this it is, was crazy this is because crazy. someone the said it. That, that yeah, day. someone said it, and we were like, "Nah." Exactly. The first initial reaction was hoax. You exactly. know, because you know how they'd be like, "Oh, this person died," and it wasn't mm-hmm. really true. Mm-hmm. That's and what I said. That's what I told King Mill. That for real, for real. Yeah, because he was like, "Yo, Brad, Kobe died." Yeah, King Mill was there. Yeah. He was um on he the was phone. The one that gave us the and the, we were like, the "Real?" And then I looked and I was like, "Yo, he's dead for real." Yeah, they said helicopter crash. That killed my day, bro. Bro, yeah, I was on the beach. And that it affected everybody, everybody in the gym. Body. Even I, the players that were playing, they were like, "Yo, I can barely play right now." Bro, bro I never been in a in a like a celebrity death kind of me either situation. But yeah. that Kobe thing was I don't know, man. That thing was just it was, it was a very different vibe. Yeah. Like it just I don't know. It was just almost like a I don't know, like a like a hero. Like you mm-hmm. watching your favorite show your whole life, and then finally like your hero is just. They just get him off the show, like the thing about the thing with about no explanation. You know? Kobe's passing was a lot of us seen him from high school yep. mm-hmm. to where he was. Exactly from and our era, you saw you him saw it. You know what I mean? Boy, and then, you saw him six man come off the you bench. You seen the cases. Exactly. You, you seen, seen how he reacted you to seen the cases. The Adidas. Oh, yeah, you man. saw them terrible <laughs> Kobe two Adidas so the horrible. bricks. 
Oh, no the moon boots. Yeah, yeah those were bad. But then, but he, he came back with them crazy eights. <laughs> the crazy eights is fire. After that, he never looked back. Yeah, Everything. you know what I mean. Yep. So, yeah, huge, huge, huge shout out and uh, to his family. Condolences to his family. Word. That the passing just that was just crazy. Crazy. And then to find out his daughter was involved. I think that's what yeah, messed that's, me up yeah. even more. Crazy. Bro. And at first I, they I said it was all his that. kids. So I was, I was like, Yo, yeah, no, there was on. so much, many though. stories. They were like, Rick Fox was in there yeah, and all that. And I was like, nah. And then when I got the actual story and I seen Gigi was involved, I was like, crazy. The one that actually loved ball as much as he did. Word. Passed away, bro. That's crazy. Crazy. It's nuts, yo. Oh, big shout out to Nell. Nine is nice, yo. Her vibes, her, 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 her music, her vibes, she's nice, yo. Nine is fire. I rock with her. Fire. Two Check out the playlist, man. Yes, go to the VOH Play Hits playlist on Spotify and Apple Music. Check out her EP, Venus. Fire. fire. Like, every last joint on there is just... Yeah. It's a vibe. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. It's a vibe. And guess where she's from? Rockland County. Exactly. Never talk your tongue, you, you hear me? Hey, man. And it's funny because she was super grateful when I had told her, hey, put these, put that song in particular, Cherry. I was like, put that on the VOH playlist. playlist. It was fire. And I guess Brad heard it and he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right away. You know what's crazy? <laughs> I heard uh, the album. Okay. Right? And I went through every song. Cause first, all right, let me let y'all know. When I get up, when I get an artist uh, referral, mm-hmm. say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, first, I'm going to go through all your music. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm really listening. Like, yep. Don't mm-hmm. think that, like, I'm just selecting some random... Nah, sometimes they'll give me a song and I'll come back with a different song. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Nah, right. Maybe this will fit the playlist better. Mm-hmm. You know, so apologies to any artists out there that, you know, might feel slighted or whatever because I chose a different song yeah. when either way you're getting spins. Yeah, but, yeah, you yeah. Know, the playlist. You know. It's your name's on there. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. So, um... I just feel like as long as everybody keeps that same vibe and energy, mm-hmm. bro, this thing is like a, it's an endless cycle of networking. Yes. This is what I'm trying to show everybody. Network. There's no reason why we shouldn't be working more together exactly. to, to get these artists out. And then secondly, y'all DJs out here got to start playing these joints. I mean, right now we on quarantine and I understand, you know, we ain't in the clubs and all that, but you know. If I was any of these artists, I would put DJs on high notice. If they're not going to play my songs, I'm not pulling up with my people to spend money spend in the money. establishment. Yeah, that's Word. a fact. That three, four, five hundred dollars I'm investing in, in that night for mm-hmm. you to look good, DJ, mm-hmm. you know, the least you could do is play my record for three minutes. Yeah. You, actually, you don't even got to play my record for three minutes. Play the, whole minutes. Play the you, first verse yeah, the you play the first verse in the hook. That's, that's what, like 50 seconds? That's 57 oh, seconds, yeah. baby. I'm not worth 57 seconds after I done invested five hundred dollars into your... Party made you look good in made for you, the bar because yeah, the the, yeah. the owner's not gonna hit me that nah. made the party popping. Nope. The owner's gonna hit you, That's a fact. and then you're gonna indirectly hit me to tell me to bring my people to your event. Yep. So if you're not gonna play my music, stop hitting me up. That's a right. And that's how all y'all artists should feel. I'm yeah. not saying that you know, I'm not saying y'all should take the Brett Bronson approach. But, but what what Brett is saying is I think y'all should yes definitely know that. You're bringing something to the table too, man. Yeah, no don't, let them, don't let them discourage you talking about rappers and this, this, yeah. and that. Listen, the reason why they're discrediting you and discouraging you and trying to move you off music is because music is one of the few residual incomes that us, our people, will be able to, to own. Yep. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Right. So imagine that if they could just move you off of your music and then you feel like, oh, man, I'm, I, I'm too old to do music or, oh, man, I suck at music or, oh, man, uh, uh, all these people telling me this, this, and that. Imagine a signed artist going through that, right? Mm-hmm. And then that label gets rid of you and then even if they're rid of you, they're still getting paid. Right. Man, I'm glad you said that because I feel like our people as a whole, if you brown, if you tan, they want to push you into this this space where you got a cap on, on you got an age cap on, on your greatness and, on your and greatness. your success. That's so fact. the NBA, the NFL, entertainment period, it's all a young man's game. And they try to make it so you can only get these residuals for a certain amount of time and then you phase out and you and hopefully you do something different. And I, I don't know if you notice, it's mainly our culture. They tend it's to only push. our culture. Because if you look at rock. You could be Bon Jovi to you 90. 
You they could be, still you get your own. Ozzy like, Osbourne yeah, was biting back last say, week. I feel like you know? Ozzy Osbourne is like, still, probably on, still getting booked. Bro, crazy. he's still I mean, doing shows. Crazy. I don't think he's dropped an album in like decades. You don't have to. Because he don't have that cap. They don't have that cap on any other genre where you got to be a young man. But meanwhile, we have our old hip-hop legends dying of like cancer. Eating McDonald's. Eating fast food. Like... Not able to take care of themselves because there's no insurance in hip hop. Exactly. They don't own their masters, so exactly. they can't repurpose their music and make some type of money. They never had the knowledge in marketing and branding. It's it's a lot, you know what I'm right. saying? So So imagine never having the knowledge of anything musically, right? <sighs> then being on this playlist and I'm not gonna say I know everything, but having somebody with a little bit of knowledge that can guide you in the right direction so you don't gotta make Mistakes like that. Word. You're gonna make mistakes. It comes with the game. You're gonna get mm-hmm. got. It comes with the game. Word. There's nothing. There's no perfection to it. There's mm-hmm. no way, shape around it. And all you guys thinking y'all gonna free our way, it's not gonna happen. No, nope. nope. you're gonna have to pay somebody eventually. Yes. Yes. Get your budget, cause when you're dealing with somebody real, the first thing they're gonna ask you is, "What's your budget?" Yes. That's, That's the time. first thing they're gonna ask you. What's your budget? Because they're going to look at your numbers, okay, your numbers are good. They, If they really, really, really like your music and they bypass your numbers, the next question is going to be, what's, what's your, your budget? budget? Every yep. time. Every, Every time. single time, yo. You can't do business without a budget. That's a-